My name's Sean, and this is a three-year-old Maddox. I'm Jody, and this is Micah, and he's now 15 months, but adjusted age a year. Um, I um, started having contractions um, at 23 weeks, pregnant, and was sent over to a specialist. Um, once we had an ultrasound after I started having contractions, um, and they saw that I had very little amniotic fluid left, and it was beyond the scope of the person that I was seeing any longer, and so they sent me to Dr. Bobrowski um, to decide what was going to be the next thing to do now that we saw that I was in labor and had no fluid left. So my contractions never stopped, and um, a couple hours later, we were back at the hospital because my labor pro was progressing. And so once we were at the hospital, it was only a few hours later, and Micah was born. And um, he was obviously rushed up to the NICU, and they first rushed down to get him. A Jody went into labor and ruptured membranes. Her bag of water broke, and it broke at 24 weeks and three days of pregnancy, which is really darn early. And uh, there was not a lot of fluid anyway around the baby. Uh, the baby was in an abnormal position in the birth canal, uh, bottom first, and she was laboring and there was really not a lot of time to do very much. My impression of him uh, was one that I have frequently with babies who are born extremely prematurely. And that is, this is a baby who is in a difficult situation under the best of circumstances. Um, the nicest thing I, I found when I uh, initially examined Micah was that he was well grown for as early as he is. So a baby born at 24 weeks can be very, very tiny, and he was, but he was well grown for his age. And that's an important thing uh, that helps his prognosis. So Micah responded well to the treatments and the forms of support that we offered to him, and that was an encouraging short-term outcome for him. But we still reserved long-term concerns because, again, Mom, not uh, Jody, not having gotten antenatal steroids, we knew placed him at great risk for the intraventricular hemorrhage, uh, for chronic lung disease, and also for significant eye disease. We could see that he was slowly getting better. I remember at one point asking, at what point do I not need to fear that he could just not make it? I didn't know, I didn't, you know, and, and nobody wants to tell you. Now you're past the point of fearing that he's just not even gonna live. I mean, so it was, you know, we learned a lot through the process. We, you know, asked a lot of questions. They were, very helpful in communicating the things that we needed to know as they happened and um, the next milestone that we would be looking forward to and um, so it was you know it was a long road but um, he did really well early on he you know he progressed but you know the first several weeks were definitely the hardest as far as knowing um, day to day if he was going to be okay at all he did really well with tolerating his mom's milk feedings and she provided uh, phenomenal quantities of milk for him which is essential uh, for these tiny babies to do well um, and that that fact in and of itself the fact that he did well from a nutritional standpoint really bodes well long term for his outcome and those babies that do well nutritionally early on and through that first year of life really do better overall. And nutrition cannot be uh, emphasized enough when you look at how tiny babies do over, term, over the long term. And I, I see families here every day. Every situation is very different. We are around preemies all the time. And he just had such a strong spirit and he just did incredibly well. And um, it was just fascinating to watch that and just to be a part of it and to be there with them and mark the milestones. The whole situation with Micah being hospitalized and being born so early was um, really 
a true miracle for us. We knew that um, God's hand was on him and that, um, you know, the technology made a huge difference. He wouldn't have survived had it been several years earlier. Um, maybe even a few years would have made a difference in how well he's doing today. And so we definitely consider him our miracle. And um, our experience here was really a blessing because we felt so comfortable with his care. And so it's just 